we got power, baby. Out here having a great time on my 2020 Yamaha MT-09 that I bought brand spanking new and ain't she pretty? Woo! You know, for you new riders out there, you know, a lot of you guys ask, you know, can you start on a Yamaha MT-09? You know, or should you get the MT-07 as a new rider? You know, I'm going to tell you whether you should get an MT-09 as a new rider. Because a lot of you guys think that if you put it in B mode that reduces the power by like 10 horsepower and kind of subdues the power, that as a new rider you can start on that mode and then work your way up to the A mode which has full balls to the wall power. I'm going to let you know if that's a good plan for you to do. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through you know first off for you new riders out there make sure you're wearing all the gear and it's super hot out right now i've got my ce armor jacket that is super cheap guys if you want to get this C armor jacket that flows a ton of air or this ultra lightweight helmet with auto tint shield, motor vlog camera, pants, all my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. I'll tell you guys, definitely make sure you get an airbag vest for you new riders out there, man. Everybody, all you riders, this could help, help save your life, man. Keep you from having a real effed up day. Uh, it's not that you know, you can't put a price on your safety guys uh, I got to get some sounds on this bike boy One thing about the MT-07 I feel like it sounds better when you put an aftermarket exhaust This bike sounds pretty good with an aftermarket exhaust which I will be adding a full Kropovich carbon exhaust uh, That should be coming probably in a week or so and then of course I'm gonna uh, tune it as well um, I'm gonna put it on B mode here and because uh, a lot of you new riders seem to think if you put it on B mode that uh, you know it's easier for you to ride this bike so we'll put it on B mode here and I'll, I'll let you know here which I've already done but I just want to show you that this is a pretty powerful bike for a new rider definitely do not get this bike as a new rider and put it on mode A Unless you've had some experience with a dirt bike or something in the past. Um, man, this thing is pretty powerful in, in mode B, guys. Supposedly, it reduces the power by 10 horsepower and subdues the power, makes it smoother. But, man, this thing is, it, 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 it still hits pretty hard. You know, uh, compared to like a more uh, new rider friendly bike like a Yamaha R3 or a CBR uh, 300R or you know a like Kawasaki Ninja 300 you know those type of bike or the MT-07 even you know the MT-07 but some people will tell you that that bike's pretty you know it's got some grunt off the line it may be a little crazy for a beginner rider but this thing hits pretty it's smoother though i will tell you it is less aggressive and less crazy than than mode a yeah it, I, I still think it's too much power for a new rider though it's too much yeah this b mode here if you whiskey throttle it look at that <laughs> oh man uh, I'd hate to see a beginner rider whiskey throttle this bike even in mode B guys It's not a beginner's bike. I I'm sorry to break the bubble to you uh, It's not a beginner's bike guys. Sorry see that whiskey throttle. Oh my gosh. It's crazy It's crazy and, and mode B here with traction control one on by the way It's crazy man And uh yeah, do not get this bike as a new rider, guys. Like I said, if you have dirt bike experience or if you've ridden another type of bike uh, and you feel comfortable, then you may be okay. Now, I know there's a lot of people like my brother. You know, he started on a CBR 900 rr back in the 90s. He passed away, by the way. 
uh, you know, back in early 2000 of a brain aneurysm. He never, he was the craziest dude on a motorcycle, did 100 mile per hour wheelies, but he never got hurt on a bike. And he died of a brain aneurysm in his sleep, guys. <laughs> That's why I said you're never safe in life, guys. So don't think you are just because you don't, you know, you think you do safe things. Your body is not safe. You never know what can happen. So get out here and enjoy life, man. But I'll tell you that, yeah, he started on a CBR 900, but he came from a dirt bike. You know what I'm saying? If you came from a dirt bike, you'll be fine. But a lot of people... You know, if you have never rode anything and uh, and you're jumping on a bike, this is not the bike to jump on, guys. <laughs> it could set you up for a real effed up day because you're going to get on here and you don't know how to handle the throttle properly. You're going to whiskey throttle it probably and it's going to buck you off the bike, scare you, and then you'll probably never want to ride a motorcycle again. And that's sad because you need to take the MSF class and then get a proper bike to start on. MTL 7, you'll probably be okay. But I would probably recommend something like a Kawasaki uh, Ninja 300. Uh, even maybe even a DRZ 400. Um, you know, CBR 300R. Or even the CBR 500R. CB5. You know, all those type of beginner bikes. Which are still cool bikes, mind you. They're great bikes. So don't get me wrong. I'm, you know, the smaller bikes are really... The more fun bikes out here on the street for the most part because you can really whip them around throw them around and, and and rip the throttle and and you're not doing triple digit crazy speeds you know they could set you you know possibly put you closer to having a real effed up day or your license having a real effed up day and you being thrown in jail with the booty warrior <laughs> you know what i'm saying but this is not the bike for a beginner, guys. Definitely. But you know what I'm going to do? Because I like full balls to the wall power. Is I'm going to throw it in mode A and get rid of the traction control. Because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> see, this, this, see, this thing still rips, man. Even in mode B. But I'll show you the difference here with in mode A. So you can see, and we'll take traction control off too, to boot, here. And I keep leaving these turn signals on, man. I'm still getting used to this bike. Okay, we'll turn traction control off. Got that off, and then we'll switch to mode A. Yeah, full balls of the wall power. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You don't want to be, yeah, you don't want to be a new rider in mode A, guys. Or even in mode B, but mode A is, is crazy. It's crazy. Maybe not as, as crazy as that Tuano uh, B4 1100 factory that I had. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. But it is pretty, pretty gnarly, man. But I tell you, once you get up to speed on the highway, it's not really aggressive on the highway. It's only aggressive on the street. So if you do a lot of, you know, you want to do a lot of touring, and uh, if you spend a lot of time on the highway and you're not really ripping it around on the streets or something, I don't know, you may be able to get by with this bike uh, starting off. If you have throttle experience, like I said, I don't know. I still don't recommend it any any way, shape, or form, man, because it's pretty aggressive, guys. But I tell you, this is a pretty legit bike, man. Like I said, I got this bike as a, uh, a power cruiser. <laughs> I didn't get this bike really to be a hooligan on because that's what I had my supermoto for. But I tell you one thing that I don't think is really good for a new rider with this bike besides its power is that the throttle is like an on off switch. I don't like that and I don't think that would be really good for a new rider because you're not going to be able to ride it smooth if you don't have any experience. You can see it's on off on off and that can kind of probably scare a new rider to death. So especially in mode A. But mode B is like on and off switch too man. It's weird. 
Yeah, we'll go down this road. Uh, oh, that torque, baby. Woo! That torque, it's like, it's like a diesel truck torque. It's good, man. But it's a, it's a weird bike, though. Just cruising. Uh, this bike is legit, man. It's comfortable. But anyways, guys. For you new riders out there, I hope this video helps you guys out. And uh, if you want to see my all of my videos for new riders that will help you out, go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos, and I have a new rider playlist. So those are all the videos I've done over the last like eight years uh, that will uh, help new riders out. So go check that out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel. And also check out my other channel, Book Out Moto thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel book out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel book out moto